Welcome back to another how-to episode from Panasonic Pro AV. In this episode, we'll be taking a look at how to implement the UHD cropping function on the UE100 and the UE150. One of the key features of larger single sensor camera technology is the ability to crop into an image within a live production environment or during post-production. The cropping feature is unique to Panasonic 4K PTZ cameras. An operator can also make use of the 3G SDI input found on the RP150 camera controller and set up three separate cropping points from a constant wide angle position, all of which provide an HD image. The 4K wide angle image can also be captured simultaneously from either the 12G or HDMI outputs from these cameras. Another great function includes NDI cropping. On the UE100, we can output an HD crop over the full bandwidth NDI output, or with the UB150, an HD crop over the NDI HX output. In post, you can still manually crop into full HD, and this provides another camera position in which we can choose from. So let's take a look at what we need to get started to activate the UHD cropping function with the web GUI. First, I need my laptop that's connected onto the same network as our PTZ cameras and hardware. I'm then going to open the Easy IP Plus tool, where I can see all the cameras connected. As you can see here, we have the UE100 and the UE150 already pre-designated. So let's start with the UE100. I'm going to open the web GUI, which then automatically opens Google Chrome, which I have installed, and we can see the web interface layout. We can see that there's a connection, and next I'm going to go to Setup and enter my credentials, which is lowercase admin 12345 as a standard. We do encourage that you do change this when you receive your cameras. Now that I'm inside the web menu, I can then see that there's a UHD crop tab here on the left. So this is the UHD crop interface. As you can see, it's really clean and incredibly easy to use. So here we have the mechanical movement of the PTZ, so I can line up the UV100. We can change zoom, speed, and focus. But here, more interestingly, is where we can activate our crop modes. So we can activate a 720p crop in HD or 1080p. I'm going to select 1080p, and as you can see, we've already cropped into our IP signal. So from here, we have the 1080p crop mode activated. As you can see, we have different options like crop zoom, 3G SDI output, NDI output, IP 1 and 2. And this is where we're sending our HD crops to. On the left here, I can actually zoom and move the crops. So we have our HD crops moving around, but we're not actually mechanically moving the PTZ like we would be doing here. So this is really, really valuable. And the way that we can define these three different crop zones are by three different colors. We have yellow, green, and magenta. And when I change here, I'm now positioning each different crop so that when we recall them, either by a user button on the RP150 or inside the web GUI, we've positioned these three different areas that we can recall at any time. This is really good because we can not only use the optical zoom of the UE100, which is already 24 times, but we can also use the UHD crop to extend on top of that as well. This is a drastic range of view that we can have, which is perfect for large venues. But let's take a look at the UV150. Same process, I'm going to open up Easy IP Plus. Here's the UV150. I'm going to open the web GUI. Same again, once the interface is loaded and we can see everything is here, I'm then going to go to the setup menu and enter my credentials. We can then see again the UHD crop tab, and we are then greeted by this interface. It's slightly different to the UE100, where we don't have two different IP streams out, but it's very, very simple to use. From here, I'm going to position my UE150 in the position that I need. And then, the same process again, I activate either 1080 or 720p for our HD out. Here's the crop out. And I'm going to first line up our yellow box for the UHD crop. I can again choose the 3G SDI out or IP with NDIHX out to send the crop feed to. 12G SDI sending the 4K wide angle or HD will still remain wide whilst we're still seeing this HD crop on the 3G SDI out. So now from here I have a little controller and this is for the crop function to move. So I position this as position 1, green is now position 2, and magenta is more off to the right as position 3. So what kind of application would we use this for? Well, this is really useful if we have one fixed camera and we don't want to use mechanical movement, but if I had three presenters, myself included, a presenter to the left and a presenter to the right, we can just use the UHD cropping just to switch between talking heads. 
that's how to activate the UHD cropping function inside the UE100 and UE150, let's take a look at how it interfaces with the RP150 control panel. I've already pre-designated my PTZ cameras as you can see on here and they're lit up and we have the UE100 and the UE150. Here we're going to focus on the UE150 and there's a few different ways that we can start to assign the crop function. In user assign under function we can actually set our crop out either to be 1080 or to be 720 and then here we have these descriptions and what these mean is crop adjustment yellow, crop adjustment green, crop adjustment magenta and then we also have crop out yellow, crop out green and crop out magenta. What this means is that we can select on a user button which crop we want to adjust and then which crop out we want to actually send to the video mixer. We can also activate the crop more manually here, still inside function under option number six, and we can switch on the crop on or off. Okay, so now that I've assigned my user buttons, I have manual control of the PTZ, which you can see here in the multi-viewer inside our studio. If I press picture in the RP150, I also can see the RP150 monitor out. If I then press user one, I then get these three colored squares that we saw in the web GUI, yellow, green, magenta. On the RP150, we have this special button here, which says enable next to the joystick. And this is designed for the crop feature. And if I select user two, which is our crop adjust yellow, I can now move the cropping square. So if you now imagine in a live production, if we have three different talking heads, we can select our yellow, green, and magenta. On the multi-viewer, what you're seeing is now me. And I'm actually using the crop out feature and I'm not actually moving the PTZ. So this is all electronic and I can actually zoom inside and I can move it around as simply as that. When I then select green, we then get our next crop out here. And then when I select magenta, we've got the other side over here. This is again inside the user buttons, how easy it is to switch between. If I then press user one again, we have our wide shot and press user one, we're then cropped into our yellow marker. So you can see how quick and easy that is to adjust and how powerful that can be where you don't have to have three cameras, but instead just one producing three different types of shots. Whilst at the same time, you still have your 12G or 3G output or even HDMI, Assigning the crop to the 3G SDI output, that means that we can still capture a wide angle shot whilst at the same time using these cropped in methods. So that's a quick overview of how to use UHD cropping. Thank you very much for watching. Panasonic Business.